Howdy, howdy, fellow YouTubers. Mr. Z Bunch Numbers here with a blank card Hot Wheel. Look at that fantastic car. I think the car itself is in mint condition. It almost rivals the rarity of the uh, Wonder Woman Invisible Jet. Um, do you think this thing's worth $100? Because, I mean, if the Invisible Woman Jet car thing convention vehicle was worth $100 something dollars, this must be. No, I just kid. I don't really care. I uh, found this blank card at the bottom of a bin. And it uh, is also missing the little J hook. That's kind of another cue to let you know that it did not have a car on it. And it wasn't just a bad seal. So if you uh, happen to see one of these at the bottom of one of your dump bins, um, yeah, check it for a J hook because sometimes it actually could be that the card just had a really, really bad seal. So, um, yeah, found that one at the bottom of the bin at Walmart. And then the a different Walmart, I found this. This is something unusual you won't see every day. I've only seen one other like this, as extreme as this, cut out. I have uh, one that has part of this J hook piece here stuck in the package but not the actual cutout so the actual cutout is stuck in the blister so yeah pretty neat um makes you wonder if it's actually from this car or not probably is then i got a bunch of wheel errors to show you um this one's actually not a wheel error it's a paint error light paint i actually bought this car just because i didn't want to just take this card so i kind of bought this generic error to get that card with it so that was part of what I did to uh to get the card but um yeah so basic paint error nothing too special then I have a all small wheels Superman Covalite as well as a reversed wheels power pipes this is the uh Target exclusive card um not too fancy to me but um not sure why they're charging more for this it should just be how the normal prices are my little rant and then um three more wheel errors missing wheel chrome on the top one two timer and then i actually think this is a gray wheel on the front of this it's not going to be showing up too well in the video but it's actually a gray colored wheel and a yellow wheel and then a five spoke on the tantrum mismatch wheel and let's see what do I want to do next. I'll do something else. Um, this one is a came from a lot of cars that I purchased. Uh, 1993 Camaro card, and I can't remember the casting, unfortunately, right now. But yeah, just kind of a simple card error. Mostly bought that as part of the lot, not because I wanted that, but mostly because I wanted this an inside out wheel error vampira. And if you've watched my videos, you may have actually seen that I have. Another error on this exact car with these wheels that had extra wheels in the package. So to get a second error on it is actually pretty cool. And then I got a mismatch wheel error, split in image two. And then this one's a real fun one. It uh, The rivet's broken and it's sitting on the bottom and the wheel is actually in between the chassis. Now I think what happens is... It, when it tried to punch it, it actually, with the wheel being there, it tried real hard to push it together, but couldn't because the wheel was there. So I'm thinking that's what's happened on that one. Then I have Oshkosh Cement Mixer with a GM Lean Machine inside of it. And then I think this one is... can't really tell what exactly is going on with this one other than maybe the rivet was too long or the body post. But the, uh, oh, I remember, I won't be able to show it, but this was another broken body post. The rivet head still shows on the bottom, but it's actually separated from the actual post. So that's why the back end's kind of jacked up like that, making it look like a high raker. And then not really an error, but just sideways in the package, probably just got that way from storage. But a white wall limousine, gold limousine, pretty pimping, if you ask me. Mercedes C-Class card with a Corvette in it. Pretty cool. And all small wheels GT Racer. And then this one is one where the uh, the body posts didn't get 
slid into position correctly, I think. Oh no, this is the uh, Big Bertha card, and I think that's actually a tank. But this is the, uh, I don't know, it's a Jeep. I can't remember what they call it right now. Not really into the name so much. Oh, it's a Roll Patrol. So anyway, so this is the one that's got the messed up chassis in the back where it didn't get slid into the little slots before it got riveted. So, Roll Patrol. So two errors on one casting. And then, oh, I'll save that one for last. And then I got all small wheels Ferrari Tessarossa. And then this Silhouette 2 has a piece of plastic in it. And if you look at it, you can kind of see the slots that would hold wheels. Not 100% sure on what casting that came from. So I should have done my research before I did the video, but I didn't fail. But it's a Silhouette 2 with a part from another car in the package. Not something I've had before, so when I saw that in the group of cars, it made me go after the whole lot, along with that Vampira, a Missing Wheels, um, Ratmobile, pretty cool. I actually like that's the original black version. And then another flipper limousine, this time with the sparkle paint. Nothing too fancy, not really an error in my book. And then I got from the Redline Club the 64 Dodge 330. I was so looking forward to this. And I was super happy looking at it from the side. Happy looking at it from the bottom. Happy looking at it from behind. Happy looking at it from front. But not happy with that. Ouch. Whoever designed this casting with the opening hood... Um, that was not successful. You should not be able to see that much gap. You can actually see through the casting into the wheels. It looks pretty terrible. And uh, it's really unfortunate because this is an otherwise beautiful car and just kind of ruined by that huge hood gap. I don't know if that's how all of them are coming, but that's how this one came. And man, it's so disappointing for such a cool car. And the last three I saved for a reason is Unspuns. So this one was actually on eBay, and the seller did not realize that it was Unspun. They just knew that it was missing wheels. Now, my opinion is if you post something on eBay, do your research, know what you're selling. Um, it's not the job of the buyer to inform the seller of what they have so they can make the most possible money off of it. Um... So, sounds kind of rude, but it's a lesson you have to learn if you want to sell stuff. I personally had to learn my lesson with that as well. And it's just part of, you know, you want to sell something and you want to make the most money, know what you're selling. So anyway, I didn't feel too bad about getting a deal on this. Um, it wasn't too terribly cheap, but it was a good price for the type of error considering I didn't have it. I can't really show it, but this one is actually missing part of the base code. It has the H, but no actual date. So I'm almost wondering if it was a line pull car that um, it was pulled at a certain point maybe, or it just didn't get a complete base code. I haven't seen that before. And I do know that the ones that show up on eBay from Malaysia have no base codes. So I don't think this is a repack, but even if it was, the seller bought it at a store and wasn't even aware of the fact that it was unspun. So, um, if somebody did return this to Walmart, um, uh, that would be really silly because they probably paid 20 bucks for it anyways, um, getting it from Malaysia. But um, either way, it's an unspun, and I probably will open this maybe someday just to see if the wheels are crimped because usually the ones coming from Malaysia have uncrimped wheel um wheels, which means that the little thing that holds the wheels to the chassis isn't um, pinched, so the wheels can come off freely. Um, that would kind of indicate more further if it, this was a line pull that just got put back on the line, or if it's actually just a legitimate error that has a bunch of weird things going on with it, like unspun, missing part of the base code, and missing the wheels. So really cool error. And then I got another kind of a double error. That was like a triple error. But this is an unspun with some slag on the left rear wheel. Um, usually I would open unspuns like this. But since it's got the kind of double error, I'll probably just leave this one in the package. And then 
Yet another of the kind of double error variety and weird scale is this Camaro is unspun. Won't be able to show it too well, but it also has damage to the front end, scuffed paint. So if it the camera will focus, there you go. You can see that the front nose, right side, on the hood, and even on the spoiler are scuffed. Not really sure what all is going on with this, but you can see this kind of wiggled apart. It is definitely unspun, won't be able to show it. But yeah, just a lot of crazy stuff. And these two were found at the same target. So that is a first for me to find two unspuns at, at one store. So anyways, that's my error update with a little bit of an RLC update. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think, and um, hope you enjoy this uh, update. It's been a while. I apologize for that. But anyways, uh, good luck with y'all's hunting. Have a good day, good week, good year, whatever. And yeah, just have a good one. God bless. Peace.